Peace, quiet, and tranquility. Nature in a discomforting state of prepossessing ignorance. A boot. Things are disrupted. A foreign object in this treacherous land. A band of despondent soldiers are out on patrol. They are part of the special forces. A tall beaten man leads the way. Sergeant Fisher. He's the most experienced of the men. He has seen the most action, taken the most lives. Just behind him is James. James had a brother, Peter. He died in combat three months beforehand. They were very close. They were born together. Played together. Insisted on fighting together. The outcast of the group was Sean. A good man, not made for a land like this. He's in the group because of his medical background. At the back, we see our hero.
we focus on our hero. We see our... something? Our person enters the... The soldier is who we... We see the final soldier. Evan, it's over here. Yes, Sarge. Christ, you're already there. Didn't see you from back there. No, you know I'm here. I know you are, mate. You just, uh, just seem a bit quiet, that's all. 
What do you mean? You know, just a bit on the quiet side. Not talking much. Is everything all right? Yeah, fine. It's like walking with a lost shape. You know, we're out here on our own, Evan. Was for bottling it up doesn't help. I know it's hard with those two bollocks in the back, but seriously, mate, been in your position before. Just keeping an eye out, sir. What? For the enemy, Evans. We've been doing the same thing every sunset and every dawn for the better half of a month, and nobody in sight but us. But if we do, we'll get the bastards. Between, between me and you, we're only out here as a precaution. Camps a mile that way. Camp's not far. So, we do a bit of lead work. We can go back, have a good kip. We've just got to be seen to be doing something. That's it. And if we get caught out here? You actually think this is going to be a dangerous place? Look, there's nothing happening out here. If there was, well, I'm sure we'd know by now. Hey, look, absolutely fucking nothing. But you know, you've got to keep your mind in the game, mate. <laughs> you've got to keep your head in the game. Keep focused. Honestly, mate, you're safer here than you are at home. I tell you. Me and the missus, uh, we went out a few months ago. We went to this tapas restaurant she'd been fucking raving on about. Chewing me ear off she was, like a fucking Wolverine dog. <laughs> so, she goes to me, you know, my mum went to, on a birthday with some friends a few months back. Also some years ago, I can't remember. And she said it was great, so we should try it. So I was like, okay, we'll go. I was in a good mood, why not? You know, you got to experiment and not. So, as we continued on, she goes, you know, all you eat is fish and chips and burgers. You know, it's not good for you, but you know, it's the good stuff, oh, mate. Yeah. It's the really good stuff. And then, you know, I actually enjoyed the tapas. And on her way back home, she had a few drinks, it was dark, and then she goes to me. She goes on and on, chewing me ear off, saying we don't do anything for that and that everything we do do for her, she's not happy to have, and that I don't respect her mother, and she puts everything, and she does so much for our family, and that's it. And then she ch pulls the fucking wheel over, and when she pulls the wheel, I swear to God, she comes out of nowhere. <laughs> Say to me earlier, we're going to be okay. Hmm. 
Nej. Smag. And so the hero overcame his biggest fear. The fear of being looked at and defined not by who he was, but what he had been through. And now, only when he accepts who he is, he realises that he should be defined by what he has been through, as what you go through defines you. You are the brave ones, the fighters, the noble men. The man who has seen the highs and lows, but most of all, you're the man who came out smiling. So, can I still take you out for drinks? Like a bar? Yeah, like a club. Yeah, sure, as long as there's no stairs. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Fine. I could carry you. Yeah, you wish. I could. <laughs> so, are you up for it? Yeah, I'm up for it. I need a shave, though. Let's get smashed. Let's get absolutely legless. <laughs> Too soon, Evan. <laughs> Too soon. Thank you.